Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mies New Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at making a quick before and after type effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is great for if you're making like a color reel or something, and it's really nice and easy. So, inside of Resolve, you see we've got some clips in our edit page here. We're going to be using this one from our ridiculous 31 node tutorial because... If it's one thing, it is obvious that it's changed from the original. So what we're going to do, first of all, is duplicate this by holding down Alter Option, clicking and dragging up, and that just makes a quick little duplicate of the track. And then we can go into our color page. And here I'm just going to hit Control N to switch back to a version that doesn't have anything attached to it. We can also right click and do Reset All Grades and Nodes. But watch out if you're using uh, remote grades. In that case, just make a new remote version and then Reset All Grades and Nodes. Anyway, so now we've got our before and our after. And we're just going to transition between these two. So we're going to switch this to about halfway through or wherever feels good. You know, use your editing instincts. And then we'll just add a little transition on here. So you can do this by overriding here, but I like to keep one above the other just for my own sanity. So we're going to click on our effects library. And I like using this edge wipe here in order to transition between two graded clips. So if you put that on, now you can see, get halfway through, and we get this line here. So maybe you're a normal person, you don't want this to come from the bottom, you want it to come from the left. So we'll select our transition, then go to Inspector, and you see we get our Edge Wipe options here. So I'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees, and now you can see it comes on just like that. And one really great thing about the Resolve Edge Wipe transition is you get this border ability which I think looks really cool for before and after. So you just drop that out a little bit. And it's really good for helping out, especially with like subtler grades, like not this one, helping the clients be able to distinguish before and after. You can, of course, change your easing in and out uh, values, which is just the motion of it. But I like linear stuff for this. And, you know, you can also feather it some, which will disable your border, uh, or at least the color border. But you, know, you can make this feathery effect, which is also pretty cool. It's a little bit subtler. I like the border. So we'll just drop that back down to about there. And now that's nice and quick and easy. But say you want to take this to the next level, what you can do is add some text. So we'll go over to our titles here. And we'll just get some text and drop it on top. And put that there. We will call this before. And then we will use a text like Gotham because you know we didn't we're bad at design and we just use fonts that everyone else uses and then we can of course change the position around so it's in a cooler spot so there there we'll make this even trendier we'll make it all caps and we will change this to a thinner Gotham, Gotham light, and we'll make it like a hundred. Cool. Let's scoot it over a little bit. There you go. So now that doesn't look the worst. And now the easiest way to do this would just be to option drag this transition up. And now we've got the exact same thing as before. There we go. See, so just drops that over. And you can, of course, copy our text, drag this up. Alt dragging this text back down, scooting this below, deleting the transition on the end, typing in after. And there you go. Just that simple. Really great, um, easy thing to do, easy to use. If you're really, you know, wanting to go hard for it, you can make these compound clips. And then you can do all sorts of other crazy transition stuff, but you totally don't need to do that, especially for this one. So you just leave it on there. It makes it easy, keeps everything visible. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Leave tutorial suggestions. This tutorial came from a viewer suggestion because frankly, I'm running out of ideas. Just don't leave another orange teal suggestion down. I've done three orange teal tutorials. You guys can figure it out. It's not that hard. But stuff like this, I would never think to do. So this was a great little tutorial. I'm sure it will do pretty well. Also, check out meesnewmedia.com slash products where you have all sorts of good stuff to help out your color grading and DaVinci Resolve experience, especially the house LUTs and the Swiss LUTs pack. They're great things. But, you know, the Bright Light Cyclic pack doesn't get enough love. And that, that's really good. That'd be really good on a grade like this. 
If you want to see how we made this grade, a link for this tutorial will be down in the description below. It's ridiculous and stupid. Don't watch it. But if you're bored, it's like a 20 minute tutorial. <laughs> so, you know, what's that? I've rambled on long enough. Once again, I'm with you with Meese New Media. We have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.